Nassau County's executive is making it clear he wants changes to the state's bail reform laws. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan reports from Long Island. A week after lobbying lawmakers in Albany, Nassau County Executive Bruce Blakeman signed a local executive order regarding bail reform. At the bottom of every press release, it will state if that individual had been released on that no bail status and now he's being rearrested. Nassau's police commissioner has been directed to disclose in daily reports the pending criminal case data and bail status of those rearrested. Executive Blakeman will also post that information on the county website, beating the drum on the cashless bail law he says is eroding public safety and leading to an uptick in violent crime. Judges should have the discretion to take a look at all the facts and make a determination. I think that the people are fed up. Fed up because of statistics he claims that in 20 percent of bail related cases the person released was rearrested. 430 recidivist defendants rearrested for violent felony with a firearm. Blakeman says bail reform is why he was elected and why Nassau's GOP district attorney swept into office. Others question if public shaming will solve recidivism. Those individuals' names being publicly uh, available is pointless and exploitation. Attorney Bruce Barquette. This is not going to achieve the result that Mr. Blakeman wants. We spoke with voters, both Republican and Democrat. I, I don't think bail reform is working out well. They come out and they commit the same crimes again. The community here wants stricter reform. County Executive Blakeman predicts the midterm elections will be disastrous for Democrats unless they come together to compromise on or repeal the bail reform laws. In Nassau County, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS2 News. And New York State statistics show about 5% of defendants released without bail commit another crime. And in some cases, judges, uh, judges with discretion have decided on no bail.